Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl over at oh, whatever. So I'm starting off with my hair looking like this. So this is what my hair is looking like. This hair is from Icy Hair. This is their loose deep wave hair. I've had this hair for a month now. I still have this hair. It's been two months now and I'm literally still wearing it. But it is a frontal, and as y'all can see, it looks crazy. I've been wearing it for like two weeks now, and it's time for this thing to come off, so let's get it off my head. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Clinique um, face wash, and I'm going to wash my face. And the reason that I'm doing this is because when I wash my face, the water is going to kind of go into my lace, and it'll also like loosen up the lace just a little bit. So I'm going to wash my face, you know, lather it up, all that good stuff. So after I wash my face, I'm just going to take a towel and clean my face off, you know, all that good stuff, get it nice and dry. And I'm going to be using that same towel to clean my lace. The alcohol, I'm going to take this rubbing alcohol. This is 91%. Make sure that you get the highest percentage of alcohol that you can because the higher it is, the more it'll loosen up the glue and melt the glue and the better it'll be so you don't rip out your edges and i'm gonna take that alcohol and pour some in my towel and then take the towel and start rubbing the lace with that towel don't rub too hard but rub enough to where you can get it off and as y'all can see it's already loosening up a bit and by the time we're done it's gonna be all the way out so just keep doing that and i'm just gonna let you guys watch and see So as y'all can see, this thing is came off of my head. The glue is so sticky. Can you guys can literally see it coming off? And this is what the lace is looking like. As y'all can see, there's already nasty glue on there. Okay, so I'm gonna start just taking off as much of it as I can right now. But to really get the glue off, we're gonna have to use alcohol also. So the same thing that I did before, except now we're doing it on the wig i'm gonna take the towel pour some rubbing alcohol on it and then just rub the lace until all the glue is coming off so after doing that i'm gonna take my comb and just use the comb to brush out some of the glue because sometimes the glue gets onto the hair and i just want to make sure we get as much glue as we can off before we soak the lace because we are going to soak the lace so yeah that's I'm just gonna keep doing that, repeating the process until all the glue is off my lace. So now I'm just soaking my lace in some shampoo. Literally, it's just shampoo. And I think I poured a little bit of alcohol in there. I don't know why I do that, but I always do that. I'll pour some shampoo and alcohol, and then I'll just soak the lace in there for about 20 minutes. So after I do that, I just shampoo and condition the hair. And then this is what the lace is looking like after I have shampooed and conditioned it or whatever. So right now I'm just cutting off some of the edges of the lace because some of the edges have gotten a little like jagged and I want the edges to be like still clean so that they'll melt correctly. And I'm going to use my translucent, my translucent powder to pat onto my hairline just to like figure out where I want the glue to go. So this is going to serve as like a border to let me know not to take glue past that part. So now I'm gonna apply my wig, and this is just the regular way that I apply my wig. I use Ghost Bond glue. I do three layers, and then I put my wig on. I'm not gonna really talk through this part because I kind of have like an in-detailed video already, 
from this same company this is the same hair but last time i had it in the middle part this hair is from ic hair if you guys have not checked them out i definitely recommend you check them out i love this loose wave hair i've had it since christmas break and i wore that hair like in so many styles first i had it on the side part on my left side then i had it on the middle part then i had it on the side part as you guys can see from this video right now and right now i just took the frontal off because I want to be able to wear it more every day. So I took the front toe and I cut it into a closure. And I just remade the wig. And I'm going to be wearing it to class tomorrow. So yeah, I really like this hair. I highly recommend it. If you guys want to know more about the hair, make sure you check my description. I'll have all the information in my description. So definitely check out this hair. It's super pretty and bouncy. And the curls are so gorgeous. If you guys want to see more of like the hair itself definitely check out my bum to baddie transformation video because in that video i talked more about the hair but yeah i'm just gonna apply my wig I don't like how my part doesn't look so defined, so I'm going to define the part and And this is what we're looking like so far before I've even added the baby hairs. It looks really nice. Honestly, I would just leave it like this, but I definitely want it to be extra and add baby hairs. So now I'm going to add my baby hairs. And also while I'm doing that, I'm going to be melting my lace with my Got To Be Free Spray. Oh, by the way, I used um, my Bold Hold glue to glue my hair down. If I said Ghost Bond before, please ignore that because I do not like Ghost Bond. Ghost Bond is trash. And when you're um, melting your lace and you're drying it with your blow dryer, make sure you're using the cool setting. I cannot stress this enough. I feel like I say this in every video, but it's literally so important. Like, make sure you're using the cool setting because if you use the warm or hot setting, it's gonna um, it's gonna cook up the glue. Basically, the glue is gonna be cooking and it's never gonna melt. You're just gonna stay in one place. So make sure that you are um, using the cool setting. So yeah guys, I'm just going to go ahead and add my baby hairs and all that good stuff and I'll just let you guys watch as I do that.
So now it is time to wrap my hair because literally right after this, I was going to bed. I had a class the next day. I was so exhausted. So I'm just going to take this little hair wrap that I got and I'm going to wrap my edges first, as y'all can see. And then I just put my bonnet on over it and I took the hair inside of the bonnet and that's literally it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you check out IC Hair. Their information will be in my description. Without... Make sure to check out... Ugh. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.